Hey, hey, Bill Nye, the science guy here. We're in Holland, at the Netherlands, in the Netherlands, at Den Haag, The Hague. And I'm here with Professor Steve Schneider, who is the, uh, one of the world's foremost authorities on glim- climate change. And uh, this week is the World Conference of the, the Conference of the Parties. And this is the sixth one, so this is COP6. So what's your role here, Steve? Well, I'm here to try to help people to understand that as complex as the climate change issue, it's really actually rather simple. When, when our tailpipes and smokestacks and other things like that are used as a free sewer, we just dump in the atmosphere, that eventually something's going to build up. We know we've been building up greenhouse gases and other pollutants. And finally, in the last two decades, nature has started to show us that we've been warmest two decades, probably in the last thousand years. And it's most likely, nobody's 100% sure, most likely due to us. That's finally gotten the attention of the world. And what's here is world leaders trying to figure out what to do about it. Each one, unfortunately, often blaming the other and trying to come up with a solution that somebody else pays for. That's the debate. Yeah. Now, uh, the thing we're talking about is taxes on how much carbon dioxide you make and credit for how much carbon dioxide or how much carbon you can store or sequester, right? Well, the U.S. has pushed for what's called flexibility mechanisms. Let's not have a direct tax. Let's not tell people how to do it. Let's just tell them how much they can emit. So here's how much you can dump in the sewer. But then what's the penalty? You figure out the cheapest way to do it. Well, that's called compliance, and they haven't solved the problem about what the penalty is. And that, without penalties, of course, uh, what would happen to speed limits if we didn't have cops and radar? So the question is, how do you work out cops and radar at an international scene? You've got to get everybody to agree to it. And getting 100 nations to agree is not a trivial exercise, which is why we have so many of these meetings. Well, stay tuned, because we're going to cover this meeting and see if we can figure out what the world is going to do about the buildup of greenhouse gases. Union of Concern website, the Union of Concern Scientists website is your source this week for updates on what goes on here at The Hague.